Hey, what's up? Welcome to Live. That best taken out the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions and everything technology related. I got a request from the chat room, specifically from Coheed, one of our half operators in the chat, and he wanted to know how do you build or configure or go out and buy a home server? Um, a home server, for those of you who don't know, is typically um, some sort of file server which you can run in your house um, and it di it's different from a web server in the sense that it's not you don't have to spend a lot of money on it um, even for web servers you don't but what's different is it's you can actually use a regular old PC as a home server now that's what I do in my house actually and that, what's nice about this is you don't have to spend a lot of money on, on a uh, high-end web server or uh, you know HP ProLiant server or whatnot to to get the best bang for your buck, you can get a regular old desktop, fill it with a bunch of hard drives, install Linux or something, and you're good to go. Mount it as a Samba share on your network, and boom, you're ready. You're you're zapping. You know. Now, what do I recommend? Well, this is what I do. I have I have two things that I that I do specifically in my house. First of all, I have a I have a home server. Um, which I use um, for hosting, you know, personal web pages, so I can do local development stuff. And also, I um, I have a uh, what they call a NAS, a network access storage um, device, which is just basically a hard drive. It's a 500 gig drive with an Ethernet uh, Ethernet um, port, so I can connect it directly to my router, and it's accessible over the network. So between these two, I'm able to share files um, all over my network with relative ease. All you have to do is essentially, in Windows or in OS X, you, would, you mount the drive um, via, uh, you know, my computer you can do a map a network drive, or in OS X you can uh, go to the um, Go, I believe, and then you can uh, connect to a server is what it's called. And as long as you know the local IP address of this device, this computer, whether it be your home server or your NAS, um, you can connect to it directly as long as you have a password and uh, the username and password. So, the best way to set something like this up is get a cheap machine. It doesn't have to be the most powerful box. You know, my web server that's running Best Techie actually is only a P4. My home server um, is actually just a regular little desktop with a Core 2 Duo. It's actually got a better processor in there, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Um, oddly enough, but it's got one gig of RAM, uh, Core 2 Duo, and a 250 gig hard drive, serial ATA. And my NAS is just a Buffalo Link Station, um, 500 gig drive, and it ha it's connected directly to my router. And I, what I do is I share all of my music on there, so that way my brothers can access my music um, via the via the the network access storage device. So it's really simple to set up and I, the reason I like Buffalo the Buffalo link station is it is super easy to configure the only qualm I have with it is is that the firmware when you first set it up and configure it to connect to your network it's kind of slow it's nice firmware but it's it's slow um, it doesn't you know it's and it's it doesn't you know it takes a while to load pages and stuff my networks plenty fast but it's just slow uh, other than that, I have no issues with it. it it's a fast device. It, uh, you know, it access the network fast. My brothers can just, basically it's streaming music to my brother's machines all the time, no problems whatsoever. It, it works great. So I have no issues with the NAS. As for the home server, um, what I do generally is, I I install Linux, a Linux distribution. I had Debian installed for a while. Then I installed Ubuntu, um, which is what it's currently running because I haven't. You know, felt the need to switch back to Debian, even though I'm not, I'm not loving Ubuntu as a server, but nah, it, it works because I have it configured and whatnot. But what I do is I use that to take my uh, my website, my when my server, or my website's on, I have it back up every night, and then I have it what they call SCP it, secure copy, transfer it over to my home server every night when it's done backing up. So this allows me to have an offsite backup as well as at my house, and then I then copy it over to one of my computers later on um, every week or so. So there's a number of different uses you can use a home server for, but what what are you, what are you looking for? Like I said, it doesn't have to be the most high-end machine. Um, you can get away with just a you know 
whatever is bottom line today, and maybe a gig of RAM, maybe two gigs if you want. But to be honest, you don't need that. You don't need a powerful box to run a home server. If you're just serving files, one gig RAM, you know, Core 2 Duo, low end, you know, maybe even an AMD. If you want to put it together, pick up an AMD, pick up a gig of RAM, a nice, you know, Asus board, maybe a gigabit or whatever board, and you're good to go. You sell, you get a nice case. You know, it doesn't have to be the fanciest case. So, I hope that helps, Coed. And uh, you know, when when you're looking to build these things, make sure that you just keep in mind you don't have to go all out it's it's just there to serve up files and you can do a whole bunch of stuff with it because then you can install Linux and then you could have SSH you know um, it, depending on who your ISP is you can even run uh, a web server you know locally so you can access stuff you know mess around with developing locally as well so you know home servers they're good uh, in terms of configuring, make sure you have, uh, if you, depending on your ISP, you might have port 80 blocked. If port 80 is blocked, um, meaning you're going to have to configure Apache if you're running a web server to use like port 81 or something. So you're not going to be able to connect via www.blahblahblahblah.com. You're going to have to connect blahblahblahblah.com colon uh, 81, which I had to do for a while until I upgraded my service. But, uh, you know, that's what I recommend. I hope that helps, Cody. And, uh, this has been live.bestthinger. If you have any questions specifically regarding home servers or NAS devices, which one I recommend, then send me an email, besttechie at besttechie.net, or leave a comment on the video or on the blog post. and uh, Or you can post it in our forums at besttechie.net slash forums, and uh, we can help you there. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.